Hey guys, today we're going to look at the top 10 most expensive cards in Eternal Masters. Keep in mind these cards should go down in price, substantially down in price, but nonetheless it's always interesting to look at them. Mana Crypt, it's also interesting to make this video now and see where the prices go. Maybe some of them go up. Mana Crypt is $119 median. The market price is around $131. Caracas is over $100. It's $105 median, and all these prices are from TCG Player. While Force of Will is $87.50, so a tad of below $90. These are pretty good prices considering uh, what where these prices used to be at $180 plus, and these should drop drastically. I do see a sub $100 mana crypt being available sometime in the future. Next, we go with a JSD Mind Sculptor, who is a touch below $75. A very epic fall. I mean, Jace, his highest peak, if you will, was when people saw he would be unbanned, and he eclipsed $200 before his first reprint. But now we get a non-foil, or maybe if you open a pack foil, it will look better than the uh, from the vault one. Uh, wasteland so we get our f first rare and this means a lot of value when you have a rare that is 65 plus dollars that is going to make the boxes extremely valuable to open extremely high ev it will help with the ev next sneak attack sneak attack is a touch below 29 dollars. definitely a really cool card was unhappy that they didn't do a show and tell but at least you got one piece of it so sneak attack is around $28.86. And we'll look at four more cards. Two of these cards don't have images. Vampiric Tutor has a new artwork. Uh, and I don't know if it's better or worse, but it is around $26, $26 20, $28, $91, depending on how you would be looking at the prices. And the natural order, now that's a very pretty card, is around $28.79 market, 31 So you do have um, these mythics and being quite valuable, and they will help support you know, the price of a box. Dak Faden, Dak Dake Faden, or whatever his name is, uh, is $22, so uh, Mythic above $20 is never a bad sign. And then we have Sylvan Library, which is another rare, and definitely want to point that out. The majority of the value of this set will be in its rares and uncommons, because you can be sure that you can get a bunch of those, as opposed to hit or miss on the Mythics. So overall, a kind of valuable set. Um, you don't have a Tamagoyf here, but other cards are um, expensive.